January 23 after mm. years and years of training, competing, yep. winning, amazing, like competing at a ridiculously high level mm. and winning all of them. <laughs> um, 23, what happens? Well, this is the thing. I think at 23, I felt a lot older than what I was. Mm. Um, I had been swimming for 12 years. It was all I knew. And yeah. it really is a sport that it's not a sport. It is your life. Yeah. Everything goes into it. Is there help for professional athletes, for swimmers, it, when you do get out of that? Because that is a big deal. Yeah. And I, for obviously guys as well as women, mm -hmm. there Completely. needs to be that support of getting your body back into... 100%. When you're not training. I think it's actually really difficult on a number of levels. Uh, elite sport is a rule unto itself. And then you come mm. out of elite sport and you're really on your, on your own for the first time in your life. We are so well supported as athletes, or should be, yeah. and, you know, I was, um, that, you know, I had, I, I, all I had to think about was doing the actual physical work. Because everything you know, else was everything taken, else was care, taken of. care of. Yeah. So all of a sudden you get into the real world um, after retirement and you really are on your own for the first time. Yeah. And none of us have ever had a job. Mm. None of us have ever had a, a, a regular paycheck. None of us have ever had a job interview before. Yeah. I didn't have a resume. Um, yeah. All these things that to the normal person at the age of 23 are all normal things. Yeah. Well, all of a sudden quite scary components totally. like hang on a second I'm in the real world and I don't know how it operates mm. so it's um there's a lot of issues that it's very difficult for and I think a lot of athletes struggle to find something in their life that replicates what they were first attracted to in sport yeah. uh, for me I hated training mm. loved racing mm. loved racing loved feeling that ability to almost prove to others and myself that I'd done all this work. Mm. Hey, look at all this work that I've done because now I'm getting up and I'm, I'm beating people yeah. and winning races and that's only because I've done all this work. Yeah. And um, that complete natural high that comes from winning, competing yeah. and, and proving that you are good enough. And uh, What gives you that now? I'm very lucky and that's how I know that I'm in the right job because I certainly have days where I have freak out moments on TV as well, mm. but before I'm about to do live TV, I get the exact same feeling wow. in my gut yeah. of adrenaline and focus that I used to get before I was about to line up on the blocks. Do you think it's because of the, the, the not knowing what's going to happen? Doing live television is risky, Com yep. as Com is completely. competing. And that whole flight or fight syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was an athlete that my greatest strength, I think, was that I never really got nervous. I had to actively work at getting nervous. Wow. I got excited. Um, I certainly never competed well at a small swimming meet. Right. The bigger the meet, the more the pressure, go. the better I'd go. How is that funny? So I needed to actively work at talking myself up and going, you know, this is a big deal. There are a lot of people watching. There's a lot of people relying on you. You need yeah. to perform today. And... Uh, I get that same feeling when I'm about to do live TV. I have to actively work at it and go, right, you've got one chance to get this right. Oh, if you stuff it up, thousands of people are going to see it. <laughs> that's, to me, my worst nightmare. But that's what gives you your buzz. I know, that's what's strange about it. I wonder what it. goes yeah. on in there. Like, that's a, it has to be a professional athlete. Well, mentality. I think it's it's a um because we're not said, all born was, with that. <laughs> it was my greatest strength as an athlete. Yeah. That that ability to have that because it used to destroy a lot of other athletes. Yeah. You know, I had I had competitors that were way better trainers than me and would break world records in training, mm. but get them to race day and they'd fall apart. Yeah, Nerves, right. pressure, just couldn't handle it. So as I said, it was um. It was a huge strength and my greatest strength. And it's one to this day that, you know, live TV, as you said, anything can happen. We know mm. that anything can happen. Things go wrong on a daily basis. But also that ability to go, you know what, I'm not saving lives. I'm not curing mm. cancer. I'm not, um, this is only really impacting on me. Mm. And so if I stuff up, just laugh, move yeah. on, yeah. you know, live to fight another day and... That's the way I have to look at it. But again, it's that same feeling in my pit of my stomach about before I'm about to get up on the blocks. And that was the reason that I loved swimming so much.